Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Southdown Garage. My name is Kurt and today we're back working on the Explorer to do one thing only. Make more power. I don't know why I slowed that down, but I did. Just go with it. So before we do anything, what we're gonna do is we're tuning with HP software. So we need to first go make an HP account. No, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. You guys can make your own account. Once you've downloaded the program onto your laptop, you have the device that you're gonna use, then this is the portion of the video that we're gonna show you. But first, we have to check one thing. We wanna make sure that if we do already have any tunes on the vehicle, that we remove them first before we start the next process because it's gonna be important. If you're gonna tune your vehicle and you have something like a Ford Performance tune on and then you're gonna put someone else's tune on, it's a good idea to return it back to stock. So let's go do that now. Ignition's on, continue, return to stock, continue. All right, now an hour later, we should have that done. Then we can go back to HP tuners to pull your stock file. You're gonna click on this. You're gonna bring it up. You're gonna read your vehicle. What you wanna do first before you connect the MPV3, connect it to your laptop. Make sure you've got plugged in because you don't wanna brick your ECU. I'm gonna say that a lot, guys, okay? Don't brick your ECU, okay? VCM editor. Now we're in VCM editor. Go ahead and download your stock file. You also want to turn your ignition on. It's always a good idea. Yes, there you go. My goodness. So it's going to do its whole thing. It's going to shut everything off and then we can come back once this is all done and we can send this off to Adam at ZFG and get the tune file from him with this stock file and then he can send you your new clean file base of course you will do some testing you'll send them log results they'll give you before you do your log results they'll give you all the data you need uh, adam sent me a whole bunch of parameters <laughs> that i just load into the scanner and i'll show you that later tonight i'm on my second file load so we're just going to do that now so once you've got your file, you've downloaded it. This one, open. So it's on there, so all you have to do is hit this button here and it will write it to the vehicle. But before you do that, you first wanna make sure your vehicle is fully charged your keys in the cup holder you're not a psychopath and you plug your vehicle into your house you turn your ignition on so it only gives you a few options you're only going to want to uh, write enter click write okay that's all you have to do <clears throat> everything from there on it will take care of it doesn't take that long once you've done the first tune after that everything will be fairly quick. It takes a very long time to download the file, to install the files fairly short, and then the, the revisions after that are really quick. So now that that's doing its thing, go make a pot of coffee, whatever you have, tea, take your dog out, do all your other things, maybe start making breakfast for your significant other, and get ready for the day, it's not gonna take that long. Uh, by the time I get my dog out here, she goes to the washroom, does all that other stuff. It should be done. I'm going to be sitting there drinking coffee while I wait, so why not? Southdowngarage.shop. Nectar of the Gods. One, two, three, one. After any file load... You want to do a start. 
No, that's good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode of Southdown Garage. If you like this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and let us know how we did in the comments. We have a lot more content coming out for the Explorer. We have some fun surprises for you coming up. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see more content. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Take care and we'll see you on another episode of Southdown Garage. Bye for now.